Their defeat at Sale the previous week made this a must-win encounter for Wasps, and their experienced lineup suggested they were leaving little to chance against a young Warriors side, who almost immediately lost skipper Tom Heathcote to a head injury. And eventually, Wasps made their control of territory count with the opening try at the end of the first quarter. Piers O'Connor with the quick hands, and no-stopping hooker Tom Cruise from close range. Connor Eastgate added the conversion, but Wasp quickly paid the price for a little complacency. Michael Dowsett's speed of thought making life easy for fullback Josh Adams. And not long after, one of the home side's senior men was at fault. Joe Simpson's handling letting him down, and as Adams set off once again, the Wasp scrum half couldn't match him for pace. Not the scenario the home side had in mind, but their response was emphatic. Just past the half hour, Tom Howe sent Thomas Young in to score. And on the stroke of half-time, the host's older heads opened a significant lead, thanks to one of their younger players. 19-year-old replacement Jack Willis over in the corner, and Wasps had weathered a storm. Straight from the restart, they set about turning a tight affair into anything but. Simpsons' half-time replacement Dan Robson made his presence felt straight away with Wasps' fourth try. And number five came quickly and memorably. Robson, Howe and Cruz involved, and Brendan Macken surely settled the outcome. Worcester's refusal to accept defeat quickly proved their undoing when their break was returned with interest by Robson and Howe scampered in unopposed for the next try. But not the last. Every Warriors mistake punished in full now by replacement Jacob Umanga this time and the last quarter promised a rout. Which was duly delivered by further scores from Robson and O'Connor before Amanga finished Worcester off with Wasp's tenth and final try. After last week's win over Bristol, their decision to blood their youngsters had rather backfired. As the scoreline suggests, boys against men.